Hello, this is Romkin and this video is prepared for helping you with format setting and format correction of your training reports. I should mention that the complete video is about 3 hours and for making it easier, the video is split into several parts covering different steps of format correction. First of all, uh, in order to explain what steps you have to take to correct the format, I've listed some uh, uh, checkpoints for you to uh, realize if you are missing something or not. So, to, uh, for, for steps to do for format correction, the first step is page size and page margins. So, before you start correcting your format, you have to make sure that you are writing in the right page. Otherwise, when you are printing your file, you will realize that uh, the, everything is distorted, messy, and some uh, lines are not where they are supposed to be. Then we are going to um, correct a cover page or come up with a cover, good cover page for your uh, report. Then we are going to set counter. Um, we are going to create some styles because when you are applying styles it will get much more easier to do the uh, corrections for the report so if you learn how to fix these styles uh, from now on you can write your reports uh, easier and even you can use it for your future projects and reports then we, we are going to apply the styles. We are going to use the both of these together and combined. So we are going to go step by step in the report and see what will come up and we will going to fix it. And then we are going to check the figures, tables and even references. Fixing appendix or in case of several items, we use the plural form which is appendices. Uh, inserting table of content, list of table and list of figures, and we are going to at the end recheck the work. work. I should mention that uh, the report has been selected from one of the students. I selected one with a lot of format corrections required. Your report may be better and you need to consume less time to correct it or uh, it will require less time to correct your own report but as you can see this is no way close to what we have asked uh, as to write a report in this university by the way you can find the guideline in the website of how to write a report I personally prefer the sample one, so if you go to ie.emu.edu.tr and into others, you will see a report writing. If you click on it, there are two options to download, thesis guideline and thesis format sample. Uh, I'm currently working with sample. This is the downloaded file. Everything has been explained over here. Sometimes you have to refer to the reference and know what you are supposed to do in some specific parts of the report. So, after downloading this, we are going to start with uh, the page size and page margins of the current report. We want to make sure that the page size is A4 and margins are according to the format given over here which is 2.5 centimeter, 2.5 centimeter to the right and to the top is 2.5 centimeter and 4 centimeter uh, from the left side which is where we are going to bound the report. That's why we increase the size from the left side. So let's return to our work. First of all, I'm going to select the whole report. If I zoom out, you can see that by pressing Ctrl and A, 
everything in the report will be selected. This is very important because sometimes students might use page breaks and when you are applying something in one section of the page break, uh, it won't be applied to the other one. So after selecting the whole report, just go to page layout, tap, and then on page setup, you can see the size. Click on it and make sure that this is A4 selected. We have a variety of page sizes in different standards. What we are looking for is the A4 size. Then we are going to select the margins to make sure that they are correct. In the same box, we, we can find margin over here. And at the end, if you click on it, you will see a custom margins. So you can type it even in centimeters. For example, from the top, as we mentioned before, from the top is 2.5 centimeters. So we will type 2.5 C, let's put the space, C, M. It stands for centimeter. From bottom, 2.5 C, M. From the left, is four centimeter and from the right it's again 2.5 centimeter now the margin is correct and we are going to continue our job without worrying about whether the page size or margins are different or not so let me check this part for you now we are going to find, come up with a good color page for the report. By the way, zooming in and zooming out, uh, I just press Ctrl and scroll up for zooming in on the mouse and scroll down for zooming out. Or you can use this bar over here for zoom in and zoom out. So, uh, as I have already practiced one of the parts and I corrected this training before. I came up with the following cover page, which you can find on the video and you can easily uh, do it yourself as well. So basically it will start with the logo of the EMU. Then we will write Faculty of Engineering, Department of Industrial Engineering, Industrial Training Report of. This is the core uh, code of the uh, training report. It depends whether which program are you studying. If you are studying Industrial Engineering, then the first report is IANG 210. The second one is IANG 310. And the last one is IANG 410. Make sure to correctly select which report are you writing. If you are a management engineering, then instead of IANG, you will have M-A-N-E or we call it MANE. And instead of 210, we have 200 for the first training, 300 for the second training, and 400 for the last training. So basically, because this student was writing a report for the first training, I will write I am 210. Then you can write prepared by and write your name and surname and student number. By the way, this is an imaginary student number. Um, and this is very important when did you submit your report. So you will write semester double point and then fall and then you will write 2019 as the year which semester which year is very important in the future so to make it easier i will get rid of all of these and let's start creating the cover page by our own so basically we will start with the logo of the EMU it's easy to find on the internet you can just click on a new tab type EMU logo then you have several logos available you can select the one that you prefer 
then you have to download it. I already downloaded it. So bring it to your board using drag and drop, or you can insert it, doesn't matter. Then you have to adjust it. For example, I don't need this information below my logo. So if, uh, if you select, let me explain this first. If you don't select, you can uh, don't select the picture. You can see that you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In in my case, I have ten tabs. As soon as I uh, pay attention up here, as soon as I click on the figure, this format tab will be appear. So by clicking on it, uh, you will see a crop. Click on it, and then try to crop the image to the size to the details that you require so from the left side let me zoom in so that it's easier to see and then click on crop now the image has changed to this one i will make it bigger although this is a low quality you can find a better logo by searching on the internet so the next thing we are going to write faculty of engineering department of industrial engineering faculty of engineering department of industrial industrial engineering then industrial training report, industrial training report. Uh, then uh, write the code, co code of the course. Sometimes by using autocorrect, word will just assume that this will be in uppercase. You have to record it, correct it again. So here's the first part then we have prepared by so prepared by double points your name and your student number after that we will have the dates by using submitted on Sorry for the typos, it will happen to everyone. Uh, semester, for example, fall semester and uh, year is 2019. This was for the previous semesters. So I think we have all the necessary information for the title page over here. Let's try to change the fonts so that we will understand which part is much more suitable for the cover page. The first thing, those informations that are specific to you, it's better to increase the size and even make them bolder so that it shows that these are new information so 22 and bold 2019 bold. I should put one space over here if I zoom out, you can see that this is a fantastic cover page for the training that you can use. So we are currently done with the cover page. Let's see what was the next step for us to do. So let me highlight this. Now we are going to set page counters. 